Welcome back to 30 Days of Muscle Intelligence with my two greatest tips to build awesome legs. So I know a little bit about legs, and legs was kind of the framework for me starting to understand what really needed to happen to build every body part. So I, my body just understood how to train legs. I just fit. I naturally squatted really well, I hack squatted really well, I did leg extensions really well. My body genetically fit really well into, le into leg exercises. That's why I built massive legs before I knew anything about exercise. You may not have that awesome opportunity. I have particularly short upper legs. Uh, my, my pelvis is a little bit wider. So when I get into an exercise, I was really strong. I was really stable. I squatted 225 pounds the first time I ever picked up a weight on my back. My body did it naturally. For someone like yourself, you may not have it quite so easily. So there's a few things you need to be doing to maximize the way your legs train. The most important thing, the single most important thing is stability. If you don't have a stable platform to contract from, you can't maximally contract muscle. So if I have you on a sheet of ice and I say, hey, I want you to squat 400 pounds, can you do it? Why not? Because you're not stable. If I have you on a BOSI ball, can you do it? No, why not? Because you're not stable. The first and most important thing you can start doing, stabilizing your pelvis. So if my pelvis isn't stable, I don't stand a chance. So I need to make sure my abs are tight. I need to make sure my pelvic floor is tight. I need to make sure my glutes are able to contract. And that may look like whatever it looks like for you, but maybe it just looks like doing some activation exercises before I train my legs. Train your abs, train your pelvic floor, which is basically your transverse abdominus. Train your glutes and activate those things so you tell your brain and your nervous system, hey, I'm stable, I can contract. So when I get to the bottom of a squat or a hack squat or whatever exercise it is, I gotta make sure I have stability at this end because the other end is supposed to be the one moving. The other end is, is going through a knee extension. So I need to make sure this end is completely anchored. So for me, when I'm coming into a squat, even before I move, I'm really braced through here, like somebody's gonna punch me in the stomach. I've got my pelvic floor really, really embraced. Everything around my pelvis is really tight. And then I'm trying to actually actively use muscles to pull me. So I'm tight here and I'm trying to use my hip flexors to pull me down to the bottom of the squat. And the most important thing, the second most important thing, is making sure you abide by and obey your active range of motion. So if you're going outside, which your body can actively control, which means you're transferring into your passive range of motion, passive is no longer actively controlled with muscles. If I get there, guess what just happened to my pelvic stability? Completely went away. So if I get to the point in the range where I'm past my active range, my, my pelvis is now going to a place where it can't actively control those muscles anymore, your ability to contract muscle goes out the window. So if you want to create massive, strong, healthy legs, create a stable pelvis and never, ever, ever go outside your active range of motion. If you're someone who has limited range of motion, it's because you lack strength and stability. Create more stability. I guarantee you you're going to have more range of motion available to you to really create those massive legs. So one way that I artificially create stability to add one last tip for you, don't be afraid to use machines. The reason leg press and hack squat may be a better exercise for building quads, you don't have to stabilize your spine. You don't have to stabilize your pelvis. You got something to shove into externally to, to shove into to stabilize that pelvis and maybe a really good opportunity for you. In the meantime, while you still work on developing that pelvic stability, to use something that artificially externally stabilizes the pelvis. Let's build some big legs, be a great athlete, live your greatest life, build your greatest body. Have an awesome